smartphones come with a lot of pre-installed applications on them. Depending on where you buy them from, they could come with even more than the OEM originally intended. For example, if you buy the LG G5 from AT&T, you're going to have a number of additional pre-installed applications on top of it that you wouldn't get if you bought it from LG or another wireless carrier. Today I want to show you how to disable these applications so that they won't clutter up your home screen and so they possibly won't ruin the performance, battery life, or even take up RAM if they're running in the background. So to do this, we need to tap on the settings application. Then from here, we're gonna to need to tap on the general tab. We're gonna scroll down and then tap on the apps option. Now this is gonna list all of the applications we have installed. You see we have a couple Amazon apps, some AT&T apps, and then all of our regular apps as well. So if we didn't want the Amazon apps there, all we have to do is disable them, tap that disable button, and then tap on yes. That disabled button will change to an enabled button and now that application will be gone. <clears throat> if you remember before there was an Amazon folder with the Amazon app and the Amazon Kindle app but now just the Kindle is there. Show you that again. This time I will disable the Amazon Kindle app and now the Amazon apps are gone from the LG G5. If at any time you want to re-enable or reinstall these applications, all you have to do is go through the same process. So you launch the settings, tap general, tap on apps, and you'll see we have these, these two disabled here, but we can also tap on this drop-down menu and only show our disabled applications. Then we can come in here, enable that application again, and there it is. The Amazon app is back. 